Hi everybody, today we're going to look at ways that you can record your learning through the adoption process, wherever that adoption process is. So stick with me if you want to see my four ideas. First and foremost is the obvious, if you like, ring binder. Now I know this sounds obvious, but if you've not been into the way of collating information before for a particular purpose, and it might not be obvious to you. So what you would do with this is you would divide the ring binder down with dividers, and you would have maybe one section for training, which is your actual physical training that you've been on, one section for the books that you've read, one section for videos you've watched, podcasts, and just any other section on what you've learned and how you've learned it. And it's, it's easy enough to stick some lined paper in there, maybe some plain paper if you want to add some photos and some dividers. So that's your first idea. The second idea I have for you is going to require me trying to show you without showing you what's inside of it, which is quite tricky. So it's a photo album, but kind of with a difference. So what I did with this, this is actually something I prepared for my foster boys when they went to adoption the first time and then they actually did come back to us, but we needed to prepare photos. So I'm gonna try and flick through fast so you can see kind of what I've done. So I have put craft paper in the back of each of the pages and then I've put photographs inside but you're thinking about how you can use this for your learning and actually you could then continue to journal with your children when they arrive I mean if you already have your children with you then this is a good way of journaling for them so you would pop in a photograph and then alongside the photo you could put lots of information because you can leave yourself lots of space you can put information alongside each picture but what you would do if you were using it as a learning log is you would take a picture of perhaps a book you've read or a video you've watched or you would just annotate inside here so some pages would have photos in them some pages would just have writing in but because it has see-through cellophane pages you can just pop craft paper into it or whatever you like and build up this kind of portfolio of learning or journaling whichever way you want and these photo albums are quite easy to get hold of way number three massive as we really enjoyed doing this so i'm going to show you the back because it doesn't have a picture of my son's on it and actually i can just kind of show you the front like that and this is a windsor and newton artist book and each of these pages can actually be ripped out if you want to but we started journaling our son's artwork we put pictures in here sorry that's more artwork we put pictures in here of them um, just quickly show you and the way that you can do this again is similar to the photo album you've got huge pages where you can log what you've learned you can put your training certificates in there if you mount them properly with the right type of glue you can put photographs in there and so what, what you can do is if you have a reflection from the minute you start the adoption process right the way through to when you have your children and it's a bit different from the other adoption journals that i showed on another video because i'll put the link for you because they are very formatted and they show you how to fill them up whereas these this is a huge huge book that's a Windsor and Newton artist book or any large artist book would allow you to record your training, record your learning and record your journey and put photographs, pictures, whatever you want in them. The final idea is a little different. This is a happy planner and it's quite big. So this doesn't allow you to put photographs in, but it does allow you to record by date the training that you've attended. So you get the monthly layout and then you will get the weekly layouts in here as well so that's what a vertical layout looks like in happy planner and you'll be able to record the training you've been on the ideas that you have and just put little snippets of information in there so every day you could put what you've done toward your learning for adoption and in the uk it's called a learning log i'm sure in other countries it's called something different but i'm sure in other countries you are required to 
go on training, understand more things as you learn. So those are my four ideas for you. And that video was requested, so I hope it helps you. See you on some of my other videos.